Well, the Oil Playoff Series is really heating up the day with a double header, beginning with Modal versus Penrite, and then Lucas is going to take on Pennzoil. Now, 100% of the videos on this channel are viewer requested, and thank you guys very much for requesting these brands compete in the oil playoff. Let's get the testing underway and see which of these two brands is going to advance to the next level. All the oils we'll be testing today are SAE 5W30. The first brand is Modal 8100 Ecolite. Instead of being a full synthetic, it's a 100% synthetic. It's API SN as well as ILSAC GF5. There's not a whole lot of information on this bottle in English for gasoline's engine requiring a viscosity grade 30. Specifically recommended for all gasoline engines, Honda, Subaru, and Toyota. This oil is manufactured in France and it'll be competing against Penrite, which is manufactured in Australia. While the first test that we'll be conducting doesn't simulate engine operating conditions perfectly, the lubricity test will provide us with some terrific information on oil performance when it comes to film strength. If you want to know more about the lubricity tester, I put together a video a while back explaining how the tester works. Before we begin the test, I'm going to first calibrate the weight scales and then weigh each bearing. After the test, I'll measure the amount of scoring on each bearing by taking a weight measurement again and measuring the size of the wear scar as well. The lubricity test will last right at 10 minutes. During the test, we'll be making sure that the bearing is receiving a constant supply of oil and watching the bearing temperature and energy usage as well. Most oil brands are tested using ASTM, SAE, or API testing standards. While I don't have the equipment to do that, there are some oil properties that can be easily tested to compare oil performance. There are many important functions of engine oil, and the three that we'll be testing include the ability to handle exposure to heat, wear resistance, or film strength, and cold flow performance of new oil as well as oil that's been exposed to heat. A big thank you to Anton and Brandon for sending me the oil. The Penrite Vantage is a full synthetic for modern petrol, LPG, and light duty diesel engines. It offers advanced protection including full zinc. This Australian brand oil is family owned and has been around since 1926. This claims to have a full synthetic base oil for heat resistance and high performance. All the other brands will be testing your API SN or SN Plus. This one is only API SL. Penrite is on the left and Modal is on the right. Both oil brands did extremely well in the lubricity test with Penrite coming out on top. The Penzoil Platinum Full Synthetic SAE 5W30 uses Pure Plus technology. It claims to offer complete protection and performance. It also has Dexos 1 Generation 2 certification. This is a very unique motor oil. It uses Pure Plus technology, which is a revolutionary process that converts pure natural gas into the first of its kind synthetic base oil used in Pennzoil Platinum, a motor oil designed for complete protection. Pennzoil claims to clean pistons, offer better fuel economy, protect horsepower, unsurpassed wear protection, and excellent performance in extreme temperatures. The oil is Ilsac GF5 as well as API SN Plus.
I've tested Lucas products in the past and they've always done very well, so it'll be interesting to see if they are truly America's finest motor oil. This is a synthetic 5W30 that's designed for gasoline engines. The Lucas Synthetic 5W30 is a fuel saving formula based on non-conventional additive package. It is designed for maximum cylinder compression and minimum internal friction. The Lucas oil is licensed for ILSAC GF5 and APISN resource conserving. Penzo is on the left and Lucas is on the right. Both did really well in this test, but Lucas came out on top. In the next test, we're gonna see just how well each brand of oil can withstand heat. I'll weigh each coffee pot before the test, then adding 200 grams of oil to each container. After the test, I'll weigh each container again to calculate oil loss caused by the heat. So why this test? Oil that evaporates quickly isn't going to protect your vehicle's engine and keep it running smoothly compared to oil that can handle the heat. While I don't have the specific equipment used for the NOAC volatility test, which exposes oil to 482 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour, I'm only going to heat up the oil to around 375 to 400 degrees for two hours. Hours. I'll be rotating the oil containers every five minutes just in case there are hot spots on the griddle. In addition to rotating the oil containers on the griddle every five minutes throughout the test, I'll be measuring the temperature of the oil in each container to make sure the temperatures of each oil are very close. At the end of this test, we're going to compare how these oils flow once they've been exposed to extreme heat. The best case scenario is that they will continue to flow the same as they did before exposure to heat. It's been right at two hours, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and take these oil products off the griddle, and when we come back, we'll weigh each of them to see how much evaporative loss occurred. Modal started off weighing 431.53, it now weighs 430.73, a loss of 0.8 grams. 421.3 grams, a loss of 1.74 grams, quite a bit of difference there. Penzo will start off at 416.87 grams, it now weighs 415.65, that's a loss of 1.22 grams. Lucas started off at 407.1 grams, it now weighs 405.53, that's a loss of 1.57 grams. We'll be adding new and cooked oil to the test tubes and then placing the oil in the freezer that's set at 15 below zero Fahrenheit for 24 hours. In this showdown for all four brands, it all comes down to which oil performs best on the oil flow test. While Modal experienced less evaporative loss, Penrite won on the lubricity test. Lucas won the lubricity test and Penzoil had less evaporative loss. Up first, Modal will compete against Penrite. The new Modal is in the left lane, the new Pen Penrite is in the second lane, cooked modal in the third lane, and cooked Penrite is in lane four. The Australian family-owned Penrite is the first to hit the oil slide, both new and cooked. Modal, the French brand, is very close behind. Unfazed by the heat, the cooked Penrite is neck and neck with the new Penrite. The new Modal is trying to catch up, but the Penrite isn't slowing down. The new Penrite finished ahead of the cooked Penrite by about three molecules and ahead of the Modal by about two inches. The new Modal comes in third about a half inch ahead of the cooked Modal. Very impressive performance by both brands. New Pens Oil is in lane one, new Lucas in lane two, cooked Pens Oil in lane three, and cooked Lucas in lane four. There's no hurry up and wait with Pens Oil as it is out of the gate first and with amazing reaction time. The Lucas is trying to catch up, but the new Penzoil is just too quick. The cooked Penzoil is on the new Penzoil's heels. Penzoil finishes first less than an inch ahead of the cooked Penzoil and less than three inches ahead of the new Lucas. What a great race by both brands. That cold oil flow test is really intense and it always gets pretty exciting towards the end seeing which brand is going to come out on top for both the new as well as the cooked oil. I was really impressed with all the brands this time. They all seem to do really well. With that said, only two brands can advance and that includes Penrite as well as Pennzoil. We still have four more oil brands to compete before we move to the next round of the playoff. And when the next round of the playoff begins, the rigor involved in the testing is only going to increase. At that point, we'll begin testing the cooked engine oil to see how it performs on the lubricity test, as well as some other things to make the competition even more challenging for each of the brands. As usual, just wanna say thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.